Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me. What we got here is an Anycubic Viper. Uh, this is the original hot end, and this is what I'm working on. And then you can see I 3D printed a little spacer because the hot end sat too high up. So it would error when I was trying to level it. So that kind of pushed it down a little bit. What I have now is one of these, I think it's, I have the box somewhere. Let me get the box. All right, here's the box. It's a Dragonfly BMO by Fadus. Fadus. On Amazon, it's like 74 bucks. Pretty pricey to be honest, but anyway, this is what it is, right? And you can see it's significantly smaller than this guy. And I got the top on this thing. But, uh, yeah, significantly smaller. Like I said, this one I had to add the spacer because it was sitting too high. This one's obviously going to sit heck of a lot higher. So that's what this is. So I'm creating this or making this little uh, spacer. And you can see I've already tapped those, right? And that fits this guy and let's see if I can even get this in here with one hand I doubt it but I'm getting it but there's a hole goes all the way through and that's for the uh, tube and it's gonna sit in there and then this guy will sit right here well right here it's not going to be this big, but that's all I had right now. So I'm going to have to turn that down. But yeah, I already started, but I thought it would be cool, cool little video. Why not? So I can show you the rest of the process, but I can share with you right now what I did. Obviously, you can kind of already tell what I did. And so what I'm going to do now is I don't think I need it this long or this wide, I guess. Uh, I definitely need to turn it down and I think I'll turn it down to the same diameter as the inside or maybe the outside it doesn't really matter I think we have plenty of clearance so just one of those at least the same you know so it kind of looks like it's OEM the hardest part about this is gonna be the actual mounting of it this is obviously designed to be mounted to this and obviously it's completely different than every other printer in the world so you know this has the auto auto leveling and it uses the pressure from the nozzle when it hits the bed to indicate that it's hit the bed using this guy right here and it's extremely sensitive too which is pretty cool but uh so i have to figure out how to mount this as you can see this guy on the top is a lot wider than this guy so the bolts don't have the clearance to get through so I'll come up with something, either mount it like that, like this. We got some options, so let's figure it out. Okay, so I got it mounted. I'm holding it on by a thread, just that little piece right there, but it seems like it's on there solid. I don't know, because I did crank down pretty hard, but I don't think I crushed the, uh, you know, because it's hollow, or there's a hole through it. So this right here is 38 millimeters. And I need to get down to 16 millimeters. Uh, so what I did is 38 minus 16 equals 22. Divided by 2 is 11. And then I'll just take the calipers. I got it set to 11. Well, 10.99. Doesn't need to be super accurate. And then I'll just turn the lathe on and run it and score that line. And that should be 16, I think. I don't know. I'm not good with circles. So let me try that real quick and see what that's all about. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Sharpie, just turn this up like that. I'm no professional, so I don't have all the cool gear, but uh, I don't even have a tripod, so I'm just holding my phone. And then this is the 10, so I'll just put it right on the edge here, see if I can show you. Then we got that mark right there. So let's see if that's 16. It's 
turn that off. And like I said, it doesn't have to be super perfect or anything, so it looks like it's going to be about 16. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I'll just turn that down. I don't really know how I'm going to show you guys on camera me doing this. Probably just won't because I don't have a tripod, so. <laughs> and I apologize for the voice. It's, uh, it's like 6 or 5 in the morning. Just woke up. So let's rock and roll. All right, so I got it pretty close. 16. I'm just going to flip it now. Hold this side. Get the rest of this off. Uh, in fact, I could take it out right now. So that's what it's looking like. Mount it <clears throat> backwards. And, you know, I, I this isn't professional grade stuff at all. Uh, my freaking lathe isn't even mounted on the uh, table or anything. I'm in my living room because I live in a small house. I don't have any room. So, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> I think there's going to be a massive gap in the video because I think I deleted one of the clips. Um, it's all done right now. Oh, you're seeing all my dirty deeds. <laughs> uh, it's all done right now. You have to wait till the end of the video to see it, though. But this was the original part. Uh-oh. Spoiled a little bit there, I think. Um, the problem with this, it doesn't mount. There's no way to mount it. <laughs> so you'll have to see what I did to get it to mount. And, you know, it actually looks way better than this for the most part a lot more uh what you call it detail and depth so yeah stay tuned see what i actually did <laughs> well i got more aluminum i don't need this much i don't even i probably could use half but uh it's a lot bigger but this is a good deal whatever i think this does like i don't even think these are big enough let's see this got to be, so it's two inches, where this one I think is like maybe seven eighths. Oh no, inch and a half. So I got a half of an inch more material to cut off, but this is the way to do it. And really that's all we need from it. So let's get cracking. All right, so here's where I'm at right now. Just basically a scaled up version. Um, the surface finish on it is not good because I broke or I chipped the insert and I was just, whatever, you know, I can sand it and stuff. All right, got a little carried away. I just went up and finished the whole thing. But I can tell you what I did. So I turned the top because I think when I left off, it was just one solid diameter all the way through. So the top diameter fits in there and I didn't go all fancy and put the ridges and stuff on like the original one like that. I just took it all the way. This side, this right here where it bolts to the sensor is the same diameter, which I think is like 23 millimeters or something. And then this is 16, which is the same diameter as this outside ring. Um, but then everything else is the same. Threads are the same. And then these holes on the side were extremely hard to drill. I just drilled them by hand. I tried to use the lathe and set it up like a concent like concentric, I guess, where this hole's the, the center, not the actual piece. Um, but that was just too hard, especially with that three jaw chuck. And it's, it's like a automatic centering one. So it was just kind of pain. But you could tell I messed up on the holes that one right there the drill bit started to wander so then what I did was I used this guy and I put a drill bit the same size as this hole to kind of keep it from wandering and then you know just basically drilled just a bit out where well, you could kind of see how much I drilled out to get that center and then I drilled it with the the, the drill so I could tap it and th I think that one turned out the best actually you can see where it lined up this one 
did not line up in the same spot. You can see I kind of drilled into the side there. Um, kind of a pain. Uh, I got to figure out a better way of doing stuff like that. But, you know, this is the first part I've made on that lathe. And it's actually the first part I've ever made on the lathe. So I think I did, didn't do too bad. You can tell the surface is a little rough. Who cares? Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the... All put together on the thing. <laughs> so here, what? Super long, right? But like the main part that matters is, you know, say it's about a sixteenth of an inch off, lengthwise. But I think that's okay because I think this one's a short, shorter than the actual. I'm gonna mount it up on the printer now. See how it looks. Um, and actually, now that I'm looking at it, I put that in backwards. It, sh it should be the other way because it's it's closed on that side, so it should be the other way. But yeah, so it's super long. It looks ridiculous, but you won't see you won't see this uh, when it's all put together. So it's leveling right now, but I realized something. I was measuring the same length as the original nozzle that I had on there before I did this but I forgot I had a spacer so of course it failed but you can see the Z uh, adjustments things I printed these a long time ago I made these on fusion and I just added them I guess I could add the spacer back on or print a new one I'm sure I still have a file somewhere um, but yeah, you can see how low it gets. Look at that. But I don't know. Maybe I like it that low. Who knows? Let's see. Let's try it out. I'm going to print a Benchy, and I'll show a little bit of that, too. So I had that spacer in. I had to go back to the longer screws. I'm going to make this part again in the future and push this up to here. I have made so many mistakes on this. But it's working now. So And it sits lower, too. It'll sit right there doesn't look as bad I was supposed to end this video a long time ago but I guess that's not the case that is not even in all the way there we go cute okay I got it leveling right now with that spacer in there it's sitting a lot better I did a print last night of just the calibration cube just to see what it looked like don't mind that crap I accidentally left supports on um, but you can see the layer lines. It's definitely gonna need some uh, calibrations. But uh, actually, you know what? I never even checked to see if it's dimensionally accurate. I don't really care. Um, that's what the top layer looks like. Definitely need to adjust the flow. The uh, bottom layer is got that elephant foot on there. Yeah, I guess I'll do another print and you can see... Well, I guess you don't need to see another print. It's basically the same thing, just lowered now. So, I guess now would be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Golly, get out of here. Go watch another YouTube video.